Welcome to Schoology for Dublin City Schools for Parents. You earlier in the year received a student code so that you could create an account in Schoology. I've already done that and create and signed into my account. For those of you that have not done this already, you can go to a website that we have, which is dublinschools.net slash schoology.aspx. On there we have created a video for how to create your Dub Dublin Schoology account and it goes through the whole process right here on this website. We've also got another one which is dublinschools.net slash schoology for parents.aspx and it has some videos Here's the setup video, but it also has a Schoology introduction. It also has some parent videos, um, of which hopefully we'll replace those with this video and we'll be ready to go. So when I've logged into my Schoology account, you'll notice that I'm in my parent view because there's my parent name. There's also a pull down menu or an arrow next to it where I can get down to my student accounts. And then I can also add a child if I need to add another child to my account. So right now I'm going to take a few minutes and we're going to go over what you would see in a student account. So I'm going to click on my student accounts. I'll notice that it says all children because I have multiple children or multiple students in this account. And I'm going to change to uh, my training account, which is a training student that we do some activities with. What you'll see in this student window is student activity, things that are going on in the student's academic day. You'll see announcements from teachers that that student has, um, little reminders or updates of what things are going on. Over on the side, you'll see recent grades, things that have been graded or things that have been turned in. You'll also see an overdue list if your student has things that are sort of still hanging out there. Um, and then you'll see upcoming assignments and things that your student will need to do over the next few days. This is really nice because it gives it to you in chronological order so they can sort of plan what activities they have going on. In your parent account, you will not be able to do those assignments for the students or take the quizzes or things like that. You'll just be able to see that those things are available and remind your students to go in and do those. You will also be able to go in and see grades. So if you notice over on the left hand side, there's a, there's a link to grades and attendance. When you click on that in that student account, you'll see the list of courses that that student is taking. You could download a student report, and when you download that student report, you'll be able to pick a grading period. You'll also be able to pick which courses you want to see an overall grade in. You'll also be able to see the grades if you just click on the name of a course. So if I go down here and click on the name of a course, I can see the different grading periods that are available. I can also see what the scores are. Remembering that this is a play account and we're trying to do this for demonstration purposes. You can also see with the score a letter grade. You can also see any comments that the teacher left. So you can see that that's there. If I'm finished with that course, I can click on it and close it back up. I can open up different courses and close them back up. That is the grades and attendance area. Notice the attendance we won't talk about because most teachers are not using it for formal attendance. The calendar feature takes you into a calendar for that student and you can see the different activities and what date they are due. So if you hover over top of an activity, it will tell you what class that assignment is due in and where to expect that information. 
There's also a messages area in case one of the teachers is trying to message you. You can see here that there's a message from my Goof Around teacher account so that I could see that that message will show up. If I open up that message, I can see what the message is. I could then reply to that message and send a message back to the teacher. So that is what goes on in that classroom. And you can see the activities going on for that student. So I'll go back into that student account and go from there. If I want to change students, all I have to do is go to that pull down menu. The other thing that you can do is you can go straight into a course that that student is taking. So instead of looking at it in a general sense, you could say, I would like to go into this course and see what's going on. So then you can see all the organization of that course, the folders that are created by the teacher for the students, any upcoming assignments that are due for the student coming up. You could also see updates and again have access to the grades for that course. So all those bits of information are right there at your fingertips so that you can see what's going on for the student and you can see what's going on for grades. Another thing that we'd like to show you is in the settings when you're in a student view you can change the notifications that you get about that student. Notice in my notifications, I have an email summary set up so that it repeats daily. I could do it weekly and pick which day of the week I would like it to come. I can also set what time of the day I can get it to come if I would like. So I'm going to change this so that it comes at 2 o'clock on Fridays. The other thing that I can set up is an overdue submission. So when homework is overdue and they didn't turn their thing, turn their assignments in, you can go into the email notifications and turn that on, or you can turn that off. So you can do those settings for your particular student. Make sure that we save the changes so that all those changes are going. And notice some of the settings that you can change in your parent account. In the parent account, you can set up notifications via email. So you can go in, you can turn on and turn off some of the different emails that you would get. You can also attach your mobile phone. So you can set it up so that your cell phone can get text messages based on what's going on around the school. Some people like those, some people don't like those. It's up to you as to how much notification you would like. So those are some of the different settings that you can play with on Schoology and get notifications from Schoology about your students' assignments, about what's going on in class. I'm going to go back to the home window and then I would also like to show you that down in the corner down here you can change what language the sides or the menus show up in. If you would like to change languages, you can do that. But understand that if you change the set settings there, it does not automatically change the settings or change the language of the way your teachers post their information. So just be aware that there are some things available to you and that is a quick tour of Schoology for parents in Dublin City Schools.